exploration of our cosmic neighborhood climaxes with a touchdown on number one of the seven wonders, Earth. The Earth, without a doubt, is the single greatest wonder in the solar system. The Earth is so perfect for our existence. There's liquid water, there's an atmosphere, there's comfortable temperatures. It's just a great place. Earth, the third planet from the sun, is brimming with breathtaking beauty. Unlike any other body in the solar system, liquid water covers nearly two-thirds of its surface. Its continents inherited a diverse landscape, and it's the only planet confirmed to support life in all its amazing forms. Earth has a number of different features that make it truly unique in our solar system. For one thing, it's not boiling hot, and nor is it freezing cold. It's just at the right distance from the sun to be a very moderate temperature that supports life. For another thing, it's not completely a water world, nor is it completely a dry desert either. It's got just the right mix of land and ocean to support a wide variety of species. Science is now getting closer to solving the mystery of how life got started by retracing the steps of our planet's formation. Four point six billion years ago, in the swirling disk of debris left over from the formation of our newborn sun, gas and dust particles began to clump together. They eventually formed large boulders made of rock and ice that we see today as asteroids and comets. For millions of years, these bodies collided and coalesced to form planets. During this birthing process, Earth acquired some special properties. One unique feature on Earth is abundant liquid water. It is thought that the earliest volcanoes spewed out massive amounts of steam, which condensed into rain and supplied the planet with water. But recently, new sources of water have been suggested. Some of the water might have come from comets, or some of the water might have come from an outer belt of asteroids that was rich in water. In other words, some of the water could have come from the rocks that made the Earth near the end of this era of heavy bombardment. And water appears to be a key component for the origin of life. It was previously theorized that life began in a primordial soup a warm pond containing energy and atmospheric elements to make amino acids. However, the most recent pioneering research makes a strong claim that the Earth's own chemical energy and rich proteins seeped up through hydrothermal vents deep under the ocean. Over time, this mixture jump-started life by producing living cells. We know that liquid water is essential to life, and life probably got started in a water environment, whether it's in the deep ocean, at the volcanic vents, or in a shallow pond. We don't really know where and how precisely life got started here, but it did, and it's the only planet that we know where life actually exists. Regardless of how life started, a fortunate event made it possible for complex creatures to evolve. About three billion years ago, ancient underwater bacteria began to use water, carbon dioxide, and the sun's energy to produce carbohydrates in order to survive. This process, called photosynthesis, injected vast amounts of oxygen into seawater and eventually our atmosphere. A huge step happened in evolution when 
the Earth got polluted with oxygen. We didn't start with a rich oxygen atmosphere, but later uh, the oxygen atmosphere that developed on Earth, basically from photosynthesis, allowed life to get a lot more complex. After a few billion years of planetary and biological evolution, the first plants and animals emerged from water onto land. It's estimated that modern humans came onto the scene a mere 200,000 years ago. And with our evolution came the technological revolution of the planet. From ancient man-made monuments to bustling metropolitan cities, human beings changed the way Earth looks on the ground and from space. The Earth's surface has started to be modified very significantly by cities, by human activity. We're part of the Earth. We've created all these changes on its surface. So the Earth's geology, in some deep sense, has been radically altered by the appearances of cities, by the appearances of all the things that we do on the surface. And that's something that's remarkable and which, as far as we know, is not happening anywhere else. Certainly, it's not happening anywhere else in our own solar system. Our cosmic tour has taken us to seven wondrous sites. The icy, geyser-laden moon Enceladus, Saturn's sensational rings, Jupiter's great red spot, the largest volcano, Olympus Mons, the mysterious asteroid belt, and our stormy sun. But this unforgettable adventure would not have been possible without our home planet, Earth, a place with endless possibilities. Over the last century, humans have manufactured metals and other materials from our planet's crust to build spacecraft. Our technology will enable us to blast off, to explore the other wonders. We'll be able to marvel at these distant domains and realize that we're part of a much wider cosmic world. These awe-inspiring phenomena allow us to ponder who we are